The next ball screen, and then we'll do this out of the flow, is what we call an alley. So if Declan is from below the ball, the other two where we saw he was above the ball, he sprints out to an alley. Oh, sprint out to an alley. Go, go on back. Go on back. Go screen. No need, no need to do a circle. Go screen the man. Okay? Just like that. Now, Declan's a freshman. Crack of his rear end is pointing right now to where he wants the ball dribbled. Go back where you were, Declan. So he wants the ball dribbled evidently out of bounds. That probably, now that actually the ball would be dribbled right to where Declan would soon be sitting. Okay? But in another day, come on back, you're going to sit this alley. He's going to sit with the crack of his rear end right like this to allow JT to get downhill. All right? Here we go. So now we've got an alley. Okay? JT drives. He turns the corner. All right? Now, this is driving space advantage basketball. What does he have? We possibly, Coach Evans stays home on Declan, and he drives and scores. Coach Evans helps, and we hit Declan on the pocket. Come on back. Thank you. Bounce or lob, pocket pass, close the door. Okay, maybe Coach uh, Richie digs down to help on this, and we got the crack back pass. Okay, maybe, come on back. Coach Rowling stays home with the big, drives in here, stays home with the big. Coach Johnson helps, and we got a loop, or we got a bridges. Okay, and again, depending on where he goes, we've got to be decisive. All right, so that's an alley ball screen that, that can create an advantage for our guys to attack.